Um, hi, I want to talk about social skills. I think what she's trying to say is social skills are so important. So let's take a deep dive into social skills and how we can improve our own social skills. Hi, I'm Andrea Pisani. I work with students every day to help them explore their passions and make great futures for themselves. Let's talk about the skills everyone needs to make it in the 21st century, 21st century skills. Social skills are a 21st century life skill. Social skills are the skills we all need to communicate and interact with each other every day. Social skills encompass the things we say, verbal communication, as well as the way we act, our body language or nonverbal communication. But they also include how we understand others. Social skills play an important role in our daily interactions and relationships. With good social skills, people are able to communicate their ideas and feelings effectively to others read and understand others' perspectives, handle conflicts well, collaborate with others, meet new friends, and work well with different people. So let's take a look at what social skills are, what makes them important for our 21st century lives, and what things we can do to help improve our social skills. Maybe the most important social skill is learning how to effectively communicate your ideas, thoughts, and opinions to other people so that you can be understood. Effective communication is the basis for all of our interactions with other people. According to A. Barber, author of Louder Than Words, Nonverbal Communication, words account for 7% of the information communicated. Vocal tone accounts for 55%, and body language accounts for 38%. Like this. It makes me super happy to know that we say a lot more with how we say something and how we use our body language than the words we're actually saying. Just as important is the ability to effectively read and understand other people. This can be called active listening. Knowing how to listen to others is crucial in any social interaction, enabling individuals to respond appropriately, show empathy, and build rapport. Being understood and understanding others are the foundations to good collaboration, which is another one of our 21st century skills. Working with others toward a common goal requires strong social skills. Sometimes when working with others, conflict is inevitable, but people with good social skills are able to navigate conflict in a healthy manner, one that considers the thoughts and opinions of everyone involved and comes to an acceptable solution for everyone. Social skills also play a crucial role in expanding one's network as they help individuals make meaningful connections with others, leading to opportunities for personal and professional growth. We've got a really good idea of what social skills are and probably have some ideas about why they are important. But why are they important to employers? Research performed by David Deming, a professor of education and economics at the Harvard Graduate School of Education, found that people who have combined technical and social skills are doing better in the job market than those that just have technical skills alone. This might be because many of the jobs that could be performed in isolation without much human interaction can, thanks to advancements in machine learning and AI, be performed by machines. Even highly technical jobs require working with others, and as such, good social skills, something that computers aren't great at yet. And Deming has found that social jobs are on the rise. According to Deming's research, professions requiring high levels of social interaction, such as managers, teachers, nurses, therapists, consultants, and lawyers have grown by nearly 12 percentage points as a share of all jobs in the United States economy in the last 30 years. So now that we know what social skills are and why they are important personally and professionally, what can we do to help improve our social skills? The first thing is easy, meet new people. Every time we meet someone new, we help improve our social skills. You can meet new people by joining clubs, volunteering, starting a new job, participating in group activities, or simply just talking with people you meet in the world. Meeting new people can be scary, but don't worry, everyone thinks that. In research performed at the University of Chicago, 47% of people surveyed thought that strangers would not want to talk with them. But 100% of the time, those same people were able to have conversations with the strangers they met. On the whole, most people like meeting with and talking to new people. Once you've met someone new, you can practice active listening. A few things you can do to improve your active listening skills are to summarize what someone tells you back to them. 
This will show the other person that you understand them and also give them the chance to clarify any mistakes in understanding. If you have questions about what someone said, you can ask an open-ended question to help clarify and deepen the conversation. Active listening can also give you the opportunity to practice the social skill of empathy. Empathy is the ability to understand the feelings of others. Being empathetic can help you build rapport with others and can also help you understand other viewpoints and opinions. Empathy starts with being curious about other people and their lives, but you can also practice empathy by imagining yourself in someone else's situation. How might you feel or think? This might help give you insight into why someone is feeling or thinking the way that they are. Social skills are crucial for successful and fulfilling relationships and interactions in both personal and professional settings. Improving these skills requires practice and effort and can be achieved by participating in group activities, engaging in meaningful conversations, and actively listening to others. With good social skills, individuals are able to communicate effectively, handle conflicts well, collaborate with others, and expand their network, leading to more positive and fulfilling relationships and interactions. If you want to learn more about 21st century skills, be sure to visit myfutureofwork.org. There you'll find a series of videos that take a deeper look at each of the three L's, leadership, learning, and life skills. And you might even find something that will make you laugh while you're learning. Who knows?